Welcome to my dad's devlog. Welcome back to my journey making Legend Bowl a retro football game. And in this week, I'm starting the dev logs back up. You, you can see it here. They're coming back. And I'm working on inputs for the game. Right now, it's a one-player game. You have to go back between keyboard and joystick and select what you want. And now I'm going to make it where they're dynamic. And you can basically select them on its own. It just happens when you push a button. So I have a lot of refactoring to do to implement this across the entire game. I also want to work on putting the two players into the game. I don't know if I'll get to it this week. And I also got to get my wish list trailer done. It just has to happen. So we'll see how the week goes and get this Trello board moving. All right, so I'm done with the first rough attempt at trying to get the new input code into my code here. I'm working on the team select screen right now. And as you can see, there's still a lot of problems with it. You can only see one joystick. You have three keyboards on here and it's just not right yet. So I'm gonna get back to coding and keep pushing. The remainder of the day was really me trying to implant the new input code into my current code base and remove all of the old input code and make it work across the system, in particular, the team select screen. So I had to do a lot of that this afternoon and I'm hoping tomorrow will be a more productive day. All right, today's Tuesday, October 29th, and I'm getting my day started a little bit late today, but I'm continuing work on the inputs and applying them to the team select screen and then the other screens like the player editor, team editor, and the various menus. And then hopefully I can start moving on to the actual gameplay and allowing multiplayer to happen. I might not get to it today, but uh, if I can, that would be great. If not, then probably tomorrow. All right, so it's lunchtime now, and I've been able to get the controllers working for the, uh, the controllers and the keyboard. So you can do keyboard, you can do controller, and you can do up or down, whatever you wanna do with the new input system. You can change your jerseys, you can randomize, so everything seems to be working pretty well. Uh, you also have a second controller support, so if I turn that on and I go ahead and push a button here, then it'll put the second controller and that one goes uh, left and right as well, up and down. One thing I added is uh, onto this new version is that you can before what you used to have to do to change uh, teams, you would actually have to keep flicking like this or keep pressing like that. But now I have it where you push it and you hold it and it goes one time, waits a couple, like a second, and then it keeps going. So that's new. But I also found that I have this bug here where I don't want to allow it go to the other, um, the same side as the other player because we're not doing co-op in this game. So I'm gonna fix that after lunch and then I will uh, update the code and, and keep working through. All right, so I was able to get it working now where you can go left and right, but then if somebody's in your way, you see how the arrow actually turns off. And then if I go to my second controller and I try to go to the left, I can't go left no matter what I do. And then if um, if I go to the right, and then I take the second controller, try to go to the right, it's not gonna work. Take this controller and try to go left, it won't work. But if I turn off the second controller, then we'll see that the first controller I can go to the away team. So that's all working now. It's Wednesday morning and I'm planning out my day, trying to decide what to work on. I'm not completely finished with the input yet. I still need to work on the player editor screen. And I also added a new task here to add a cooldown to the player lineups when you're going through the players and the roster and i want to make it to where you can you can do kind of with the teams where you can sit there and just scroll through as fast as you want or you can do it one by one uh, up to now it's only been just one at a time and then i also created a task in trello to uh, 
to basically create a wish list trailer for my Steam page. Most people will tell you that you want to launch your Steam page with your trailer and everything, but this was my wish list page basically. I mean, this is the final store page, but the game's not ready yet, so I didn't think it was that important. But I have read a lot of articles that say that you still want to have one out there, and I've been meaning to do one. So what I did today was I added a new list uh, or item to my task list to start working on this. I've been working on it, but I've been making improvements to the game in between. So what I need to do is create some gameplay footage and then take that footage over to Final Cut Pro and start slicing up a, a trailer. So that's my day and we'll see how it goes. All right, the problem we have with the lineup screen right now is that we are not able to do scrolling like we did with the teams. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that because right now the way that it works is you have to go in you know, one by one, one at a time, and you can go pretty quick with the D-pad, but I wanna be able to hold it or hold it and be able to go all the way through your roster. All right, so now I have it working where instead of having to do this every time, you can just hold it down and it will scroll all the way through. So it's a lot easier to get through your lineups. You can hold down either um, the D-pad or the analog stick, the left analog stick, or you can also do your keypad. So you probably can't see it, but I'm pushing the keys now and you can hold the keys down and they work. So that's working. So now I'm moving on to the player editor screen so that this all works with the new input system and we'll keep moving. All right, so now the inputs are pretty much working. I went ahead and added sounds now to every single menu. So when you go through each menu, you can actually hear some feedback. And when you're going through to the player, this is all working now. And the way it's actually working now, which is nice, is if you want to hold it down, you can hold it down and go through all your different options without having to worry about, you know, going through each one like this again. So now play editor is working and everything else in the game seems to have better sound feedback now. So I'm gonna be going on to the trailer video. I have a lot of work to do there and I wanna make a trailer, so we'll see how far I can get and uh, keep pushing. All right, so last night I went ahead and almost got the entire trailer finished for the wishlist trailer for Legend Bowl. I have about an hour left or so and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be given the fact that the standard is about one minute long for these trailer videos. So I should be done with that in about an hour. And then I have to do a quick thumbnail for a video I'm putting out on my YouTube channel. And then after that, I'm spending the entire rest of the day working on adding a second player to the game. I've been putting the inputs in this week, as you guys know. And then uh, later on, I really need to get the, the two-player game working. So I'll be doing that this afternoon. So the Steam wishlist trailer is finally finished. It took me a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I'm happy with the final result. It's on Steam, so wishlisted if you guys want to check this out. You can actually see more gameplay. It shows off a lot of the features in the game, and I'm pretty happy with the final video. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back to the code and try to work on the two-player action using the new control system within the game so that I can get multiplayer working. It's Friday, it's been a long week. I really didn't get as much done as I wanted to with the inputs and the multiplayer, but I did get the trailer video. I got a lot of the input code put into the actual framework of Legend Bowl's code base, and I'm progressing. This is what happens when you're doing development. Things don't take as, you know, aren't as quick as you think they're gonna be. 
and you just got to keep pushing. So I'm working today on this video. That's what you see here. I'm going to be cutting it up and chopping it up and I'll be putting it on over the weekend. And then I'll catch you guys next week with another devlog video. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to follow along, hit that like button. You know what you got to do and I'll see you guys next time.